Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoyed this video, please become a titty streamer and build up a mass following of simps and then instruct them all to subscribe to me, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Okay, so this isn't one of my normal Sons of Virgins episodes because for those of you who aren't aware, there's currently a war going on in servers around the world. The war is between the green aliens and the purple aliens who for years lived at peace, but have recently been butchered civilians and each other in the streets with clips of the conflict constantly going viral on social media. It's sort of like the Hunger Games but funnier because even more children are dying. As an average YouTuber with an average sized peenie, it's time I picked a side and do my part for humanity. It's a pretty big decision, but come on, green versus purple? This is clearly Grove Street versus the Bowlers. But as I'm Grove Street for life since I was 12 years old and accidentally said the N word because CJ was my role model, it's an easy choice. $340,000 for a suit? Jesus Christ, I'm trying to meme here, not single-handedly revive the GTA economy from this recession. Anyway, meet Alien 47, a relatively skinny white boy who put on a skin-tight green suit in an attempt to gain validation from his homies. This is his gender-fluid, non-binary crew because they're progressive unless you're a non-white male. And together they form a feared group known as Green Gang. These are their stories. So I buy myself the suit and I don't want to flex, but look at that ass, boy. Immediately, a purple alien gets out of an armored car and runs at me. I'm low on health, but high on bath salts. So I figure I'll try to flee, but these guys clearly take cardio seriously and I'm beaten to death in the local park. Wow. I meet up with some other green VJJ quickscopers because strength in numbers. I then spot the dodgy wannabe Barney who whacked me and move in for the kill. Here's a fun little life hack for you and the family. Whenever you need to kill someone, bring your boys so that you can dishonorably beat them up as a group. We also kill this guy and the wife beater just because. The objective is simple. Completely take over this entire server so that Green can finally have a private male-only alien orgy. I mean pressure businesses into paying us protection money and selling crack to teens. And insert other normal gang-related organized crime things here. We stop off at the weapons store, but as we're parking, Stealtho Simo, one of my actual mates, pulls me out of the car. I'm left fighting this guy with a minigun with my bare fist, which goes surprisingly well. Just kidding, it's a minigun. This needs to be more orderly, it's an absolute mess. We organize to meet at my office building, but on the way I paint my Deluxo green. I also paint my laser cannon green. Everything green, mother Okay, so the purple plague needs to be eradicated from the server. It's almost as if I'm trying to emulate the beliefs of a certain fascist dictator with a moustache, Colonel Sanders. Anyway, I forgot to tell Stealth Omato we were doing this whole green alien thing today, so he is just sitting on the couch in casual clothing looking like our pimp. Actually, maybe that's a business opportunity. But yeah, this is one of the weirder moments I've had gaming. And just sitting here watching educational anime with the boys. We have quite a crew. Many of these people are just randoms we're not actually talking to on the mic, but share our common beliefs. What a beautiful moment for the Green Gang, but the plan is simple. We secure this server with brute force. And that was already the plan, so I'll just be honest, the boys and I wanted to watch some risky anime. The infidels either flee or put up a pathetic fight as we quickly show that we are the superior race. Our force seems to only grow stronger as we operate as if we were one organism with one brain. I just remembered this one time I said orgasm instead of organism in science class when I was a kid. The teacher, in an attempt to embarrass me, said, What's an orgasm then, Jeff? And I said it didn't surprise me that she didn't know because ain't nobody getting in her granny panties. The entire class clapped and the principal even gave me a special award for being so stunning and brave, just kidding, I cried. Anyway, I respect Purple for sticking around despite being so outnumbered, but it's just not looking good for them, Chief. We simply have such a force. We're even happy to borrow tactics from other cultures, such as the often underrated suicide bombing. I can confirm that when you engage in such tactics, you do not get 70 virgins, 70 wives, and everlasting happiness in the afterlife. You only get 65 wives, and most aren't even virgins. What a sneaky scam. 
Again, I do respect Purple, they really tried, but eventually they all leave the session. We heard news that another much larger purple force was gathering in a different server, but before phase two, we must savor our victory. The boys and I decide to have a little house party and I make a phone call to invite a very special guest over. Any of my longtime viewers know I used to virtually date this girl. It was the most serious relationship I've ever had, including my current IRL girlfriend of five years. The one, the only, Sapphire, and look what she's wearing. That's right, you purple chavs, we're out here getting lap dances from your girl. Imagine getting bullied off a server, and then one of your finest lasses gives all the boys premarital lap dances on a damn Tuesday evening. We all then take turns having naps while everyone watches, because that's how you nap and also being well rested is important. Imagine napping without having seven homies standing right next to you. No thanks. Obviously, we need to change servers and keep the fight going strong, but it is just so nice to stop and smell the roses once in a while. One of the lads organized a tour of the city, and honestly, I'm really glad he did. We're all probably going to die soon, and yeah, just soaking it up. I join the new server and in the process lose a large majority of the gang. But yeah, we're here to defeat Purple, not thoroughly enjoy scenic bus tours. So the person who told me Purple was congregating on this server was Maddie, as in Maddie, my friend from the Sons of Virgins gang. Wow, what an amazing plot twist. This video has more layers, twists, backstabs, and surprising turns than literally any other Christian porno. Seriously, imagine finding out that this entire time you've been hanging out with one of your arch enemies. The bloodshed continues and I realize we need to try and form some sort of peace treaty where both aliens can coexist in one city. So they are free to peacefully suck each other's penises. I mean, fly UFOs and enslave humans and other normal alien activities. Both gangs organize to meet at the pier and negotiations begin. I propose that Green Gang has the entire city and surrounding countryside, and Purple can have Sandy Shores, that place with the methed up trailer park near the big lake. This doesn't go down well, but we all briefly ally so that we can beat down this dodgy Malacca who crashed our team building meeting. What a simp. I mean, who besides emotionally secure people doesn't wear tight-fitting neon alien suits everywhere? Unfortunately, the truce is short-lived as a full-on war breaks out yet again. This rivalry is as old as time itself. Well, not really. It's been two or so years since the alien costumes were released, I think, which is far less epic, but still, I mean, it's something. We start to get outnumbered by purple. If I had to guess how outnumbered we were right now, I'd say about 47 to 53%. Wow, would you look at that? What a coincidence. That's the exact same amount of people who watch my videos and haven't subscribed. Did you know that every time someone new subscribes, I give the captured people in my basement one sip of water? So please help them stay hydrated or they'll literally die and it will be your fault. Then you'll go to jail and you'll die because a big Mexican guy called Miguel will chop you up with a toothbrush shiv and then eat you. Wow, this could all so easily be prevented. Anyway, recognizing that we need to briefly retreat, the lads and I pile into a chopper and make a swift escape. You may have already noticed, but one of our members is a biracial alien, which makes his true loyalties quite confusing. I don't know whether to make out with him or kill him. So I do the mature thing and treat myself to a bottle of vintage Moe 2008 Imperial. Because the fermented liquid surprisingly lowers your risk of diabetes by up to 13%. We decide to sail for international waters so we can regroup, but Purple aren't giving us a moment to stabilize. They keep trying to board the tug, and eventually one of their careless helicopter pilots blows up and ruins what could have been a solid Pirates of the Caribbean moment. Enough is enough. We need to settle who the Alpha Gang is once and for all. I meet Maddie on the beach, and I hate to say it, but she do be looking kinda thick in that bodysuit, not going to lie. We're not here for that kind of smashing though, we're here to have a civilized fight. Four versus four, fists only, to finally determine who the superior gang is. The rain begins to pour down, which will only help those who value hydration. Then at the worst possible time, one of the purple infidels disconnects and their player becomes an NPC and begins walking away. The only thing I hate more than a purple is a purple NPC, so the boys and I make our move. 
We then proceed to beat the other purples to death with our numbers advantage, proving that greens are fast thinking and highly intellectual individuals, able to seize opportunities as they come. Maddie says that's BS, and so we organize another actual fair fight. This is the moment the world has been waiting for. Society has been hesitant to declare that World War 3 has ever actually started. The Cold War and the War on Terror were never officially given that title, but I think we can all agree that this is officially World War 3. Of course, Green come out on top, and if you gloss over the fact that one of our guys was definitely using a golf club, it was as fair as it gets. I also apparently have an up anatomizer now because of that weird casino glitch, and this is also quite useful for the fight, albeit unsportsmanlike as the fight is over. After something this internationally significant happens, it's best to shake hands and be friends. I hop on the back of a purple jet ski, and we all make our way over to the yacht. A classic purple flies a plane here, which is quite disrespectful, as this is my property, but like Gandhi, I turn the other cheek. We all live happily ever after, just kidding, the war never ends. You fools think you can unwind and relax in my jacuzzi? Hiya! I hope all you legends are doing really well. Thanks for watching, and a huge thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.